<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So this evening, I'm happy to have you all here. We're going to be talking about our own immune systems, okay? I'd like you guys to take a look at some visual aids that I brought before I get started. Um, right here, we have a chart that actually states what the body goes through when it detects an invader such as a bacteria or virus. Right here, we have a presenting antigen that the body's detected and sent an antibody to fight against. So I'd like you to take a look at that. And also, the lymphatic system here, which is shown all of the lymph nodes of the body. So these are some pretty neat photos if you guys want to take a look at those. Has anyone ever had the cold bug before? Or a flu virus? Oh yeah. Pretty nasty, okay? So do you know how the body detects and fights against these viruses or bacteria? No. 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 Okay, not well. Not really. Not really? Okay. Well, as author William Clark says, tonight we'll learn how our immune system fights off invading bacteria and pathogens that may enter our body and attack our immune system. Okay? So first off, I'd like to, you know, introduce the fact that when we're in the womb, we actually begin with the immune system. Not one that's necessarily built up, but one that's passed on to us in the utero, okay? So actually, our mom's antibodies that she's developed through um, presence of bacteria and viruses will be passed on to us. Even while breastfeeding, we'll receive those antibodies. However, once we're weaned, off the breast milk, we will no longer be receiving those antibodies, so it doesn't last that long. So now we'll learn about how we develop our own immune system, okay? There's uh, several different types of immunity, including vaccinations, okay, which is a, 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 uh, not an acquired immunity, okay, um, but it is an active. So we have active, passive, and acquired immunity. So. How does our body know when to react, and how does it detect pathogens? We, we detect pathogens with our B cells. B cells are memory cells. They remember antigens, which is what is presented on bacteria or viruses. So once we receive that the memory cells are stimulated by, by seeing this antigen, they say, T cells, let's get to work. T cells are our fighting cells. So the T cells will start fighting these bacteria off. Also, what's known as phagocytosis. That's where a macrophage, which is another type of cell, that's actually developed from a T cell, will eat the bacteria and invading cells, okay? So, we also move on to another line of defense that we have, which is called the first line of defense. All those cells that I was talking about, cell-mediated defense. So the first line of defense is actually our skin as a barrier, mucous membranes, eyes, okay, saliva, even earwax has antibodies in it, okay? So how do these all work together, we wonder, right? <coughs> lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is known as the immune system. It, does it run through the blood? No. It's a separate circulation through the body. That's why I showed you these pictures of the lymph nodes. When you go to the doctor, you know when you're sick, the doctor checks your lymph nodes. Okay, you have lymph nodes in your armpits, you have lymph nodes in, in your, you know, help, your groin area, okay, and you also have them in your neck. So, when you get ill, the lymphatic system pushes those bad cells to your lymph nodes. That's why they become swollen. And like I said, those macrophages eat those bad cells and take them to your lymph nodes. So, working all together, we've learned today how our immune system really protects our body. So, I'd like you all to take that with you, and in conclusion, just remember that our immune system is only as good as we let it be. So, stay healthy, eat your fruits and vegetables, and take care of your body.